As followers of Jesus Christ, prayer is an important part of our work with Jesus Christ. Prayer is a powerful tool for communicating with our Heavenly Father. It is an opportunity to become one with the Creator and Giver of all things. Prayer helps us to find strength for today and hope for our future. We should actively pray and trust in its power to change our circumstances for good. The Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16 through 18, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Prayer is so important that Jesus took the time to show us how to pray. In the Gospel of Matthew 6 verse 5 to 14, the Bible says, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep babbling like pagans, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive others for their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Trust in your prayers when you pray according to God's will for your life. In 1 John 5 verse 14 through 15, the Bible tells us, This is the assurance we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of Him. Trust in your prayers when you pray with confidence. Hebrew 4 verse 16 tells us, let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Trust in your prayers when you persevere in prayer. Luke 18 verse 1 tells us, Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Trust in your prayers when you allow God to work. Psalm 37 verse 5 tells us, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Trust in your prayers when you pray specifically. Philippians 4 verse 6 tells us, Be careful about nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Trust in your prayers when you pray in Jesus' name. John 4 verse 13 to 14 tells us, and I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Trust in your prayers when you pray in faith. Mark 11 verse 22 to 24 tells us, Have faith in God, Jesus answered. I tell you the truth, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart but believes, what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Trust in your prayers when you pray according to God's promises. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20 For no matter how many promises God has made, there are yes in Christ. And so through him the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Trust in your prayers when you pray with expectations. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 The Bible tells us, Call to me, and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Trust in your prayers when you praise and thank God for answers. Psalm 100 Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth, serve the Lord with gladness. Trust in your prayers when you obey God and live a holy life. 1 John 3 verse 21 to 22 Dear friend, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and receive from Him anything we ask because we obey His commands 
and do what pleases him. Trust in your prayers when you confess and break with all conscious and unconfessed sins. Proverbs 28 verse 9 through 13 If anyone turns a deaf ear to the law, even his prayers are detestable. He who conceals his sin does not prosper, but whoever confesses and renounces them finds mercy. Trust in your prayers when you pray fervently and earnestly. James 5 verse 16 Confess your faults to one another and pray one for another, that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avail much. Trust in your prayers when you pray for your position of authority in Christ Jesus. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Trust in your prayers when you wait upon the Lord so that he can answer you. Isaiah 40 verse 31 but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Trust in your prayers when you wait for the Lord so that he can answer you. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Trust in your prayers when you are honest with God in your prayers. Do not try to hide things or misrepresent things to God. Psalm 139 verse 23 to 24. The Bible tells us, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. Tonight we're going to pray powerful prayers from the Bible that will change our lives. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, today a great door of abundance is open unto me. I ask in your precious name that blessings from all four corners of the earth begin to locate me now. Everywhere I have been denied supernatural riches by the forces of the evil ones. I put all the gimmicks to open shame now and I receive God's abounding blessings right now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I come before you ready to pour out my worries, my anxieties and fears at your feet tonight. I am claiming and declaring your promises for blessings of peace and strength over my life. Bring peace into my soul that passes all worldly understanding and make me a light for others to see your strength. My heart rejoices in the Lord. In the Lord my horn is lifted high. My mouth boasts over my enemy, for I delight in your deliverance. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Do not keep talking so proudly or let your mouth speak so arrogance. For the Lord is a God who knows, and by him deeds are weighted. The bowels of the warriors are broken, but those who stumble are armed with strength. Those who were full hire themselves out for food, but those who were hungry are hungry no more. She who was barren has borne seven children, but she who has many sons pines away. The Lord brings death and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and raises up. The Lord sends poverty and wealth. He humbles and he exalts. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He sits them with princes and has them inherit the throne of honor. For the foundations of the earth are the Lord's. On them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful servant, but the wicked will be silenced in the place of darkness. It is not by strength that one prevails. Those who oppose the Lord will be broken. The Most High will thunder from heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his kings and exalt the horn of his anointed. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hands upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attend. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hands will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. 
Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day. The darkness is as light to you. In my distress, I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From the deep in the realm of the dead, I called for help, and you listened to my cry. You hurled me into the depths, into the very heart of the sea, and the currents swirled about me. All your waves and breakers swept over me. I said, I have been banished from your sight, yet I will look again towards your holy temple. The engulfing waters threatened me. The deep surrounded me. Seaweed was wrapped around my head. To the roots of the mountain I sank down. The earth beneath barred me in forever. But you, Lord my God, brought my life up from the pit. When my life was the ebbing away, I remember you, Lord, and my prayer rose to you, to your holy temple. Those who cling to worthless idol turn away from God's love for them. But I, with shouts of grateful praise, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will make good. I will say salvation comes from the Lord. I pray that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hands be with me and keep me from harm, so that I will be free from pain. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, and I know that full well. My frame was not hiding from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depth of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they will outnumber the grains of sin. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you, God, will slay the wicked away from me. You who are bloodthirsty, they speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, Lord, and harbor those who are in rebellion against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them as my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. For this reason I kneel before you, Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of these glorious riches, He may strengthen you with power through His Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide, how long, how high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge and that you may be filled with the measure of all the fullness of God. Not to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. To him be glory in the church, in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Father, tonight I plead the blood of Jesus over my life, my spirit, my soul, my body. I plead the blood of Jesus over my spouse, spirit, soul, and body. And I plead the blood of Jesus over my children. I plead the blood of Jesus over everything in my life that may be troubled. My fears, my anxieties, my sickness, my confusion, my brokenness, my sin, my anger, my worry about other people, my future, my job, my marriage, my money, my sex life, my eating, my time, my entertainment, my church affiliation, my thinking, my sleep, I place it all under the blood of Jesus Christ and I leave it there. I surround myself and my family today with the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. Let nothing affect me or my family that does not first come through the blood of Jesus. Nothing from the enemy, from other people, or from the natural world. I let go of anything that cannot remain under the blood of Jesus. Any habits, any material things, any thoughts, any people. I choose to remain under the blood of Jesus Christ and claim His protection tonight, His provision tonight, and His direction today. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, Amen.